The eye gaze is currently set to work with camera input. So that's taking it from your webcam. Change the eye gaze to mouse and touch input. You can drag the mouse around to control the eyes. Now keyboard input. This lets you control the pupil movement with the arrows on your keyboard. This is my favorite way to do it. Now I'm going to use the guy on the left as the default settings and change the settings for the guy on the right so you can see how they change and you can compare them. Smoothing is how quickly the pupils move to their spot. A low number is quickly and a high number they move slowly. The strength is how far the pupils move. The higher the number, the farther they move. Depending on if you're using the camera or the mouse or the keyboard, you have to adjust the strength of each independently. If you are using the camera or the mouse and snap eye gaze is checked, then the pupil can move in one of eight directions, up, down, left, or right, and then the midpoints in between those directions. If it's unchecked, it has free range to go anywhere 360 degrees. I recommend leaving it checked. The last setting is in the face section, but it has to do with the eyes, and it's eyelid strength. You can see when I blink, the character blinks. If you want that, then that's good. Um, but if you want to turn it off, you can change eyelid strength to 0%. And if you want it back on, change eyelid strength to 100%. The face settings all depend on your personal preference and the character you're trying to make. There's no correct way to do it. It's up to you. The left character will have default settings and I will change the guy on the right so you can see the changes. If pose to pose is at 0%, the head will move free range. It will move one to one with your movements on the webcam. There'll be lots of little movements picked up. If pose to pose is 100%, it will move only after a pose has been made. Smoothing will adjust how smoothly the head moves to its new pose. The higher the number, the slower it moves. Head position adjusts how much the head can move its position. The higher the number, the farther it can move.
head scale strength adjusts how big the head gets when you move your face towards the camera and how small it gets when you move away from the camera. Head tilt adjusts how much the head tilts or rotates. Eyebrow strength adjusts how far the eyebrows move up and down. Eyelid strength adjusts how far the eyelids move. We, uh, we talked about this in the last video. Uh, we don't technically have eyelids on this puppet. So for now, just know that if you have it at 100%, it will register a blink. If you have it at 0%, it won't register your blinks. Mouth strength, we're going to skip for now. Parallax strength will also skip for now. It has to do with head turning, but that's a bit more advanced. We're not going to worry about that right now. Raised eyebrow tilt is how much the eyebrows tilt when going up. Lowered eyebrow tilt is how much they tilt when going down. You have to use negative numbers for the lowered eyebrow tilt. And move eyebrows together is pretty self-explanatory. Same with blink eyes together.